An increasing number of Staffordshire University students are learning karate in a bid to develop their self-defence skills, with the hope that it will help keep them safe on the streets. It's very applied, so everything we do, there is a real-life application. As I said, it's not necessarily applied in here. We don't come at each other pretend knives or things, but we always work in real speed. We're always working with a partner of all different shapes and sizes and, and speeds and experience levels, so you can have people much bigger than you flying at you, which may well happen outside. So we're willing to deal with those kind of scenarios. So I think people's natural reaction when something does happen in real life that's unexpected, like something, even something benign, like something jumping out in a door and boo, your natural reaction is to freeze. Um, and at that moment you're paralysed, you can't use your body, you can't do anything, it doesn't really matter how big you are. Our idea is to try to make sure that if something does happen that's unexpected, then you act in a more natural way, so you're able to use your body. The club, which is held twice a week, has seen an increase in memberships, particularly in young women. It's a great way to know what you can do, sort of thing, and just sort of prepare yourself so you're relaxed enough to think straight. It's getting you in the mindset rather than... Because obviously you're not going to suddenly think how to hit someone if you're not a black belt or something. For many, it is a way of building confidence so that they can feel safe around the campus. If someone was attacking you in the street, that you'd be, have to wait for your chance to get an attack in, and for that you'd have to be paying attention. So when they attack, you can put yourself in the right position to block and counter, or to get in with an attack first yourself. With students the most targeted members of society, I met up with one local student who had been a victim of an attack. My case isn't the only one that's happened. I know quite a few people from the university who have got into fights or been attacked, and I think obviously it'll be quite beneficial for people if they did take self-defence, because they could be walking home on their own like I would, and they might be a bit more well prepared for it. Chris Parsons reporting for Staffs Live.